welcome back to another video on my channel. In today's video, we are going to take a look at the brand new buttercream collection from Light Elegance called the Nautical Collection. So let's just dive right into this. So the buttercream collections come in six and in the bottom of every buttercream box is instructions of how to apply these buttercreams. Okay, so the first buttercream we're going to look at is called Shore Thing and this is a really nice neutral. It's like a deeper beige color almost on the taupey side and when you agitate the buttercreams they do become thinner in viscosity so great for applying really really thin because the buttercreams are quite pigmented and the brush I'm going to use today is the light elegance gel polish brush oh these are so smooth one thin application. Very, very beautiful. Okay, let me cure this and I'll be right back. Okay, and here's what Shore Thing looks like. It's a really, really pretty neutral. I would call this a, a medium beige on the taupe side. Very, very pretty and great for those clients that like something a little bit more subtle. And again, to apply the buttercreams, you put them on in one to two thin layers because they are quite pigmented. Okay, with Shore Thing, I want, or Shore Thing, I should say. I want to compare it to a couple of neutral colors in the buttercream lineup and on my right is Utter Perfection and Sure Thing is on the left. So kind of in that same family but a little bit darker. The other one I want to compare it to is called First Base. Now First Base has got a bit of a shimmer to it so not really comparable. Mauve Mantra a little bit darker, kind of more on the taupe side. Your churn is a little bit more, again, taupey, and sure thing is more of a beige, in my opinion, and a neutral beige, a nude beige. And this is not comparable, but I want to show it anyways, pink tutu. So a nice neutral nude color that I don't have in my collection. The ones that I do have are a little bit lighter or darker, so kind of nice to have that in-between shade. Okay, next color we're going to take a look at is called What's Happening, Captain? And this looks like a kind of a peachy coral. We've been seeing a lot of corals from Light Elegance lately. You guys, you could do this in one thin layer and you're good to go. What's Happening, Captain looks like kind of a yeah, again, a peachy coral. And I'm wondering, no, it's just a cream. I thought maybe there was a bit of a shimmer in here, but there's not. This is a really, really pretty color. And I want to sh compare it to a couple of colors I have in the corals. So short skirt flirt flirt is a little bit brighter. The What's Happening Captain is, is quite toned down when you compare these two together. Not comparable to Sahara Sunset on the right. Let's compare, I've got two more to compare for what's happening, Captain. We have Camel One Hump or Two on the right, which is a little bit more orange, peachy orange, and Tumbleweed, which is a shade darker. So, you know, there's some similar colors here with these two. I actually do not have anything comparable, which is really good. This is a stunning summer color. Okay, next color we're gonna take a look at is Ahoy There, Niti. This looks like another coral. No, it's a red. Okay, that's good. I like red. Oh, it's, it's a little bit brighter than what's showing up in the pot. That's kind of nice. This is a darker red, not a bright punch in your face red. So it doesn't really have a blue base or an orange base. But yeah, I would say this is a great nautical red. Okay, let's cure that. And this is what Ahoy There Métis looks like. It's a little bit more of a true red than what I'm wearing. And let's compare it to a couple of reds that I have in my buttercream collection. So we have Real Red on the right and Ahoy There Métis on the left. And Real Red is, is deeper. They are quite similar, but Real Red is a 
little bit darker, and Hoy There Made uses a shade lighter. Painting the roses red doesn't compare. Cha Cha Cherry is more of a pink undertone, and it is a bit of a shimmer, Cha Cha Cherry is. And with what I'm wearing, Poison Apple, got more of a, it's lighter. <laughs> it's lighter. I, I would say that in the swatch, it's got more of a blue base than the Ahoy Here Matey does. Ahoy There Matey, not Ahoy Here. <laughs> Ahoy There Matey. Okay, let's take a look at the next color, Man Overboard. And this is kind of like a lipstick pink. That's what I would call it. Beautiful. Okay, and this is what Man Overboard looks like. A gorgeous lipstick pink. I'd say it's like a medium pink, coral red pink. <laughs> Would look good ombre with poison apple that I'm wearing. And in comparison to what's happening, Captain, these two ombre together would look stunning. Let's take a look at some buttercreams that I have and see how they compare. I've got Giddy Girl on the right, which is definitely darker. It's got more pink in it, so I don't, yeah, I don't have anything else to show this up against. It, I don't have anything like this. Let's compare it to one of the summer colors called Dragon Fruit. So Dragon Fruit's on your right, Man Overboard is on the left. These are similar with Dragon Fruit being a bit lighter. Okay, next color we're gonna take a look at is called All Hands on Deck. And it looks like a, either a purple or a blue. It's looking like a purple in the pot. Let's see. Yeah, it's kind of one of those, is it a purple or is it a blue? I think it's leaning more on the purple side. Okay, I would definitely do this one in two thin layers. So I'll be right back. So this is what All Hands on Deck looks like. It is a very, very pretty, I don't know if it's a purple or a blue. It kind of looks like an ink color. So ink is blue or black. Depending on how the light hits it, you either see purple or blue. So very pretty. I'm just a little confused with this color because it is so dark to be a summer color, but let's keep on going. We got one more color to look at. Okay, the last buttercream is called Anchors Away. Whoa, this is so vibrant and pretty. This looks like a, like an electric blue or a cobalt blue, business blue. No, business blue is a little darker, isn't it? This is a nautical blue, definitely 100%. And it goes on so, so nice and creamy. Okay, I'll cure this and I'll be right back. Okay, and this is what Anchors Away looks like. A gorgeous, gorgeous medium blue. I, it's like an electric or cobalt blue. Very, very summer. Very, very nautical. <laughs> Not naughty, but nautical. <laughs> this, for you blue lovers out there, this is, I would say, the perfect nautical blue. Gorgeous, gorgeous. I don't think I have a blue like this in my buttercream collection. I'm just looking and no, I don't. So no point in fumbling around. I do want to, I lied. <laughs> I do want to compare Anchors Away to Justice, just so you get an idea. So Anchors Away is on the left, Justice is on the right. Justice is more like a metallic blue. And while I have this out, we'll kind of compare it to All Hands on Deck. Uh, Justice is a little bit lighter, so a little bit more comparable than Anchors Away. Okay, so let's recap. Okay, so here is the brand new Summer 2020 Buttercream Collection, the Nautical Collection. What do I think? I'm going to be very honest. I have to be. These colors are absolutely gorgeous. On their own, they are stunning. In a collection where you have a theme going on, like a nautical theme, I am really confused by All Hands on Deck, which is this dark ink purpley blue color. I honestly feel like it doesn't fit into this collection. It's too dark, and I would rather see something like a Caribbean blue or a Caribbean green, like that Caribbean blue sea color, turquoise. 
case. This is just my opinion, but I think that would have been more well suited for this collection is to have a turquoise in here. And Light Elegance knows how to do their pinks and reds, but we've seen so many of that, those colors in collections lately that I probably would swap out what's happening, Captain, and put a yellow in here. That's definitely something that's missing within the buttercream collection is a yellow. I think putting a turquoise and a yellow in here would have been more well-rounded for a nautical theme, but what do I know? These colors are stunning. Again, like I said, they are beautiful on their own and definitely will be able to get use out of them. I'll be able to get use of all hands on deck. Just I don't think I'll. it will be a color that I'll use in the summertime more for fall and, and winter. So the colors that I think are absolutely perfect in this collection is Anchors Away, Ahoy There Matey, Man Overboard, and Shore Thing. Those to me say nautical, sea, sailing, that type of theme. Definitely they knocked it out of the park with those four colors. So tell me what you think. Do you have this collection already? Do you have a favorite color in this collection? I'm, I really like this Anchors Away. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous blue, but I think if I'm to say what's my favorite, it's Man Overboard. That kind of corally pink lipstick type color. It's, it's beautiful. So tell me what your favorite colors are, what you think of this collection. Comment down below. I, you guys know I read your comments. And that is it for this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Give this a thumbs up so it gets out in the YouTube universe. And don't forget to follow me on all my social media, Facebook, Instagram, and Pinterest at Elite Nails by Carrie. And we will see you in the next video. Bye guys. Thank you.